You know, I, I love games that start out positively where everything goes our way. This is not <laughs> one of those games. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where you play every nation in U4 and 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order, and this week we're back with the nation of Betsy Mesaraka. I think that's what they're pronounced like. Sorry, still no below zero. Sad. But either way, we're back in Africa, back in Madagascar. Funnily enough, the second nation in Madagascar with uh, unique national ideas after we did Antemoro. Please don't tell me these guys have unique ones too. Okay, they don't. Oh, actually, they do these guys do we're gonna be playing them too but here we are as betsy misaraka we're a fetishist chiefdom adachi at least we have tech 3 so we probably have feudalism right and we have this uh, pretty bad ruler at the start our national ideas focus on some boat stuff as well as yeah pretty much boat stuff and piracy stuff so that's who we're gonna be playing as today but what do we do as betsy misaraka well why not try and get one of the most obscure achievements in eu4 an achievement that has been added recently to the game where are the penguins where as a Malagasy country we need to unite Madagascar and hold all the southernmost provinces in the world. So we need to own these three provinces down here in South America, this island right here, this island right here, some of these provinces down here in South Africa, all of Madagascar of course, even provinces in Australia, these ones right here, some of these ones right here, and even these provinces over here in New Zealand. So we're definitely going to be going for a colonial campaign we're also going to be trying to conquer these guys over here to boost our gold production from all those gold mines and uh yeah that's gonna be the challenge as betsy misaraka today i am uh, feeling kind of scared about this one about fighting colonists and stuff like that but i guess we'll see and before we begin if you enjoy this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as betsy misaraka all right all right here we are as betsy misaraka this is what we can see <laughs> not a whole lot we're definitely gonna have to get exploring and expanding fast we actually don't start off with feudalism uh so yeah that's another institution we're gonna have to dev for sad unless i can maybe ally Kilwa. let's uh try and do that and uh let me do some estate stuff first all right estate stuff done let me set some rivals obviously we're gonna be rivaling the guys that are uh on this island now hopefully all three of them don't ally uh each other i don't think they will though let's check out our force limit it's seven okay let's see here uh-huh bye bye horse you know what it is i always do that in fact i'm gonna hire the free company instead of building up that army we do have some boats i am gonna keep them in port for now are we making any money we actually are making a little bit of money funnily enough but uh not enough to get an advisor or something or actually maybe i can get an improved relations or diplorep guy which i don't have free merchant can we tell him to do something no of course not of course we can't so while i'm improving with uh kill all right here let's start spying on some of these guys maybe the weakest guys which are and tomorrow and we'll start conquering madagascar this is the achievement by the way let me show it to you guys where are the penguins and we need to own a lot of provinces <laughs> all right all right i've built up a claim on these blue guys instead of Antemoro because they allied Kilwa. of course they did and we gotta get to work here fast boys and start conquering the guys around us of course first let me uh make this air not exist there we go perfect and now we can declare on imarina let's wipe these guys out maybe Antemoro here will declare on mahafali and then i can vassalize mahafali myself and fight Antemoro without fighting Kilwa. that's the plan for now all right all right i've defeated Imarina and I'm actually gonna vassalize them because Sakalava here declared on them as well. The only reason I'm doing this is so I don't have to fight these two guys at the same time so I can fight just these guys by themselves. So let's go ahead and vassalize these guys, take all their money, the standard stuff. Now I'm of course uh, defending versus, wait, both of them? Oh. So now it's separate wars, huh? Looks like that didn't work out quite the way I planned. <laughs> At least I have two forts, I guess. All right, one of these guys has been defeated. Like I said, this uh, backfired a little bit for me, but hey, what are you gonna do? A war is a war, and it's one. And now the rebels from these guys are gonna fight these guys. Let's see that in action. Ah, very nice. I love it. I love it. And the second war is done too, so let's full annex uh, these guys as well. Perfect. Okay, now what? These guys, like I said, they're allied to Kilwa. I, uh, I literally can't fight anyone right now. I forgot how hard it was with Antemoro. Or was it hard? Hmm. What's up with these heirs, man? <laughs> the, the, the other guy was a 1-2-1. One, one. This guy's a 0-1-1. One, one. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. You know, I, I love games that start out positively, where everything goes our way. You know, everything is just easy. This is, uh, this is not <laughs> one of those games. 
Well, let's speed up feudalism at least a bit. I mean, we're getting it a bit from uh, Kilwa right here, but uh, we gotta let it go faster, man. We gotta let it go faster. I'm not really swimming in uh, Monarch points right here. So, uh, yeah. Finally, feudalism. Ah, feels good. Now all we have to do is spawn the Renaissance. Of course we do. Of course we do. All right, so now I'm just chilling here. Uh, I'm spamming some galleys. Hopefully I can build up a huge navy so I can uh, fight Antemoro while not allowing Kilwa to come to Madagascar. Uh, it's gonna be tough, boys. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Well, would you look at that? Kilwa is busy with uh, Mutapa and stuff like that and they won't even uh, help out Antemoro over here. So uh, let's declare, I guess this navy buildup was all for nothing. Well, not really. We'll still have to fight Kilwa, right? Of course, since we're a tribe, we can't take strength and noble privileges. Oh wait, let me take a look at these tier 1 ones, man. Actually, there's some good ones here. Alright, tribal despotism. This one is actually pretty good. <laughs> State of society, no, no, no. Sacred kingdom, this one's eh. What about feudal tribe, eh. What about great man? Oh, this is the one Benin has. I feel like tribal monarchy is the second best one, and we're not gonna be conquering a whole lot, so I guess we should stick with this. But either way, what I'm trying to say here, ladies and gentlemen, is let's take the tribal version of strength and noble privileges, martial society. All right, let's clean these guys up as well. And excellent, we have all of Madagascar. We can even start annexing our subject E Marina right here. All right, as soon as I get on the same tech level, at least the Miltech and Diplotech level with Kilwa, we'll be fighting them. Don't mind me, just chilling, just uh, still spawning the Renaissance. Will I get it now? I think I'll have to have three times to get it up to 100. Let's see, once, and actually, no, it was twice. All right. Whew. Okay, now we got the Renaissance. It will cost quite a lot to embrace. Uh, maybe I can get burger loans. Nah, I still have... Uh, I already have burger loans. Uh, but at least we have that. Now, we should be able to catch up to Kilwa here slowly, even though I'm generating so few Monarch points. And listen, this guy sucks too. But bro, I can't keep disinheriting guys. I'm gonna end up in a Regency Council. And that's even worse. <laughs> Just as I got a consort with uh, more Monarch points than the ruler and the heir, I also saw a comet. Uh, yeah. Huh. Well, would you look at that? My consort regent. Our spies inform us that Kilwa is considering declaring war upon us. We must rush to prepare our defenses. If we show ourselves strong, we might make them reconsider. Now, I do think I have naval superiority over them, right? Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm Diplotech 3 there. Diplotech 5, dude. That uh, it does give them a naval morale advantage. Let's see right here. Yeah, 10% more naval morale. Let's check it out here. There is this 2.1. I think mine is about 2.12 if I raise fleet maintenance. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess let's see these guys uh, declare, man. <laughs> I'm scared. And there it is. They did declare. Now, I don't think I'm gonna lose this war, man. Honestly, I... I think I should be able to beat up their navies. Let's see how this goes, huh? All right, all right, so they landed. I'm beating them up, obviously. Naval disembarking, you know, they're gonna suck. And I'm beating up their navy as well. Uh, let's see that in real time. Boom, yeah, both battles won, baby. Both battles won. I think I will be able to establish naval superiority real quick here. Let's try and beat up some more of their ships. And we're also gonna hunt down this army too. All right, so I am blockading them. That should make them pretty sad. I'm just building up a couple of more transports. So uh, yeah, I am going to try and land on them. I did get Miltech 5, the same as them. But if they get 6, then that war is going to be unwinnable because 6 over 5 is a huge advantage. And they did get 6. <laughs> Still blockading these guys, I'm waiting for uh, Miltech 6 to land on them. Of course, we are gonna open up with exploration ideas, that's what we need to do, it's just the facts we need to colonize. So, exploration expansion is the logical choice. Alright boys, we got Miltech 6 as well, as you can see they have Miltech 6 as well, it is time to land. Let's land on Lindy right here, and uh, end the reign of Kilwa once and for all. And there we go, we've pretty much 100% at Kilwa, even won a few battles. Well, I actually won all battles, so that's amazing. Uh, yeah, it was not a good idea to declare on me, Kilwa, what do you want me to say, man? Uh, obviously I'm gonna need the gold mines here, thank you very much for that. Oh, I'm gonna need the gold mine in your capital too, and uh, wait, I can't do that, huh? Well, let's not take this then, I guess, that's not a gold mine, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe, hmm, I still can't do it. Ah, oh, there we go, I can do it like this. Perfect. All right. Bye bye, Kilwa. I have three gold mines now. Four, actually. Let's take a uh, religious society right here. 
Oh, how quickly things can change. <laughs> now, I know we're going to be using up Diplo points to dev up these gold mines, but with all that money from gold we're going to be making later, it will enable us to have a ton of colonies and colonize super quick. Meanwhile, I'm just chilling right now to recover the economy a bit, and I'm probably going to continue uh, beating up these guys over here. Because listen, we can't just colonize, right? All right, we got two gold mines up to 10. I got the one in Sofala and uh, the one in Kilwa up to 10. I think two of them are enough for now. We're making 12 ducats from gold, so that's pretty pog. Autonomy is pretty low, and uh, yeah, I think it's time to start working on exploration and uh, do the other gold mines later, as well as conquer these guys. Now, who's this over here, dude? Where did they come from? All right, all right, let's get another war started. Let's uh, clean up these uh, Makua guys over here. Who are they allied to? Mutapa, Tumbuka, uh, yeah, I'll call belligerent Mutapa. Nice! And actually, we can also start exploring. I just got an explorer and some light ships. Let's select mission, explore, and pretty much go wherever, boys. All right, these guys are out. Bye-bye. And these guys are also done. Perfect. All right, finally, we can start some colonizing, man. Uh, let's take a look at some provinces here. All right, so I need to own all four of these right here. Uh, let's go for, I mean, I guess the closest one first, right? <laughs> I mean, we should try and conquer at least all of the Zanzibar trade node, right? Beat up some of these guys up here, maybe get into a little tussle with Hajuran up there. They do own a province in Zanzibar. Maybe we'll get Zambezi too. Of course, I'm not going to colonize these. I need to colonize elsewhere. All right, great. Admin Tech 7, we can actually start working on expansion ideas as well perfect awesome awesome another colonist acquired let's go colonize someplace else like i don't know the cape cool all right since we got the first one from expansion i feel like it's time to wipe out maravi over here so let's declare on them for the conquest of uh, lundu why not why not I really hate fighting these guys that I can't really see, you know, and I can't, uh, I can't go to them. <laughs> I, uh, I really hate it. This province has been colonized. Let's go to Algoa Bay. All right, all right, what do we need here? Centralize or retain tribal hierarchy? Ooh, I'm actually over GovCap, so, uh, we are gonna have to go with this one. Ah. Uh. Listen, just let me fall annex you, man. Like, what's the big deal? I'm gonna make your life better, all right? Listen, Kikonja, just leave, dude. Just leave, forehead. All right, thank you. That's all I wanted. Really, dude? This is my luck? Fish and wool? <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> it was literally like two seconds after I said that. You guys can take a look at the dates uh, in between the clips. Awesome. All right, I've discovered a lot of the world. Big Timurids, nothing out of the ordinary. Ooh, that's a pretty big Bengal for uh, this time. Uh, Mamluk's still alive. The Ottomans have something. Tunis with weird name placement. Big Ethiopia. Big QQ. Uh, and now people would see this and think, uh, oh my god, Ottoman Levant? How big are they if this is Ottoman Levant? And they'll go post that on Reddit. But in fact, you just gotta discover their uh, capital. So their name changes. And let's round off the colonization in South Africa by sending a colonist to this province. Perfect. I've also discovered some more provinces down here, like South Georgia. We do need it. Uh, oh, actually, I can see Australia, too. I think I need this one as well. Let's see uh, where are the penguins. Yeah, I do need Wad Juk right here, although it is too far away. Now, let's not get too bogged down with colonization here, boys, and let's go back to our roots of beating up Kilwa. Let's uh, declare for whatever. Cobaligerent, these guys, too. I think I want them. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. All right, perfect. You know, the most annoying part about playing in uh, sort of this region over here in the world is that uh, the enemies like to walk through these and walk all around everywhere. You know, they hide in this Turing Cognita, they pop up out of here, I go and chase them, they jump back in, pop up over here. Yeah, it's getting on my nerves, bro. It really is. Awesome, both of these idiots have been beaten up and uh, let's take, uh, wait, actually I'm gonna take this, I guess I'm gonna take this too, and uh... Actually, that's gonna be a lot of admin points. But yeah, I'm just gonna give it to Pate here. I'm gonna make them a vassal. Boom, there we go. Uh, can I actually give that to them, though? Let's see. Pate, uh, Grand Province, Zanzibar. Uh, sure. Excellent. All right, I've pretty much colonized all of South Africa. Now, the thing is, uh, the other stuff I need is, uh, is too far away. So maybe we're gonna need to hop. I don't know where I can hop to get South Georgia, though. Maybe up here? Nah, it's too far away. Uh, can I go here? No, what about here? Jesus, man, where can I go? Please! How can I- oh. Oh. Well, now the colonist is back and we can actually check if we can colonize. Let's see, that is too far away, I was right. What about this? Uh, St. Helena is not too far away. Australia it is. Cocos Island. Uh, this I'm not gonna try and pronounce. Uh, let's- let's hop to here, I guess. Ah, we can become a kingdom? 
Wonderful. Tribal Kingdom. Yes, super powerful. Are we on the Great Powers list? We are not. Oh, wait. It's because I don't have colonialism? Or what is it? I mean, yeah, I don't have colonialism, but, uh, huh. You know, on second thought, I should have gone this way first because uh, these are places the colonizers are more likely to reach first instead of Australia, but hey, I'm a dumbass. Now that's one good explorer, huh? Wow, I actually have massive navy tradition, dude. <laughs> uh, is it from the ideas or what? I didn't win that many naval battles. I mean, the last time I faced a real challenge was the first war versus Kilwa. All right, now let's try and hop to St. Helena. Shout out to Napoleon, by the way. Finally, third colonist. Wonderful. Listen, we're not getting any younger here, so let's fight these uh, Tumbuka guys. Once again, I'm gonna have to fight a nation that I have uh, no idea where it is. I I love it. I really do. Oh, they're right there, of course. Can I go there? Of course I can't. Oh, of course I can't. You guys are probably like, forehead, just hire a conquistador. But no, I'm not gonna hire a conquistador. I'm just gonna go here. I actually am gonna hire a conquistador. <laughs> All right, let's full annex these guys too. Awesome. So uh, I just need to fight Mombasa here to get the rest of the Zanzibar trade node. Pate is already my subject, and I'll clean up uh, Malindi and uh, that one province from Ajuran later. Ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived in Australia. Now I can't actually colonize the provinces I need because uh, this one's too far away, and these two have uh, natives living in them. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to go here and just, you know, conquer these regularly, which should actually be a little faster too. <laughs> I also need provinces down here and in New Zealand though. Hey now, we can reach these two provinces right here. Let's go to South Georgia first. All right, things are pretty chill in Africa, but I am gonna take this uh, 10k stack with a conquistador over to Australia so we can start fighting some of these guys because they actually do own provinces we need. So that's what's up right now. All right, sick. We arrived in Australia. Let's fight these uh, Nyunga guys. Now, some of these guys are automatically co belligerented. Like, uh, well, I can't actually see them, but we're also gonna have to fight these guys up here. Whatever. Now, wait, how do I got two claims on them? Huh. So from this war, I actually only need these two provinces. Why let it drag on any longer than it needs to? Great. Bro, I just saw Castilian La Plata right here. <laughs> uh, do they usually colonize down here? I'm not so sure, but hopefully I can get these provinces before they do, man. I don't want to have to fight these guys, please. Okay, let's send a dude over here too. All right, now that we've wrapped up exploration and expansion, I think we can uh, do a little deving of these uh, gold mines right here. Let's see, maybe in the Butuwa area? Sure, sure, sounds good. Like I always say, boys, high inflation equals good. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dev this up, huh? And we finally reached uh, mainland South America as well. Awesome. Let's send a guy here in Tierra del Fuego. So we got a couple of more provinces in order to wrap this up. I think three provinces down here. And I can already see New Zealand too. So we do need uh, just these two down here. And I'm about to declare on some of these guys down here to take these three provinces. And then these three in Tasmania. Alright, let's fight these guys down here. They do have like uh, 36k troops versus my 15k. But they are uh, very, very low tech. So this should be be super easy I think. Uh, let's declare for this province right there. Now I don't get it, what's going on here? Like, uh, I'm clicking this province and I'm taking it, but it doesn't get highlighted here? I don't know what the deal is, why, why isn't it becoming green? Okay, let's see what happens if I try to take this. Will I actually get this province? And I, I did actually get it. I don't know why it wasn't highlighted. All right, let's continue bullying these Australian guys. Let's declare on these guys down here and uh, yeah. Now we can actually modernize, you know, reform into a monarchy, republic, theocracy, become a horde even, but you know, to keep this uh, true to the essence of the challenge. Let's become an advanced tribe. Yes, yes, a colonizing tribe. And let's take that. That's the only province we needed. Now boys, don't think I've forgotten about Mombasa and Ajuran, man. So let's go take care of them, huh? Let's declare for uh, Mombasa. And let's full annex these guys. Great. Now I just need uh, to annex Pate over here and to get one province from Ajuran. Uh, I already have a CB on them. Oh yeah, from a previous mission that gives you claims on this. But either way, I am gonna spy on them. Let's also uh, annex Pate. Hey, Australia formed. What should we name it? What should we name it? Uh, Betsy Miss Australia? Amazing. Amazing. In all its glory. And a spy network has been acquired on Ajuran. Let's declare for Kiss Mayo right here. I love kissing Mayo. I think I've already mentioned that uh, a couple of times before. But uh, yeah, listen, this is going to be a super easy war, boys. We just need one province, man. Well, we just want one province. 
<laughs> and that literally took only like a month. So uh, let's take this and uh, let's do some other stuff too. Why not pillage their capital? You know, I'm all about those pretty borders, man. And I'll make them do some other things too. Great, we have all of Zanzibar. Well, all of the colonized ones, not the uncolonized ones, obviously. We don't even need a third idea group, bro, but let's go with uh, something silly like, uh, uh, I don't know, espionage? You know, Tunis sure loves conquering Italy in recent patches. <laughs> uh, Europe, not too cursed, kind of cursed-ish, but not really. Right, let's finish off these guys down here, boom, yep, nice, go. I wonder if we can walk onto the wood. What happens if we get on the wood? Is this the end of the world? I guess the flat earthers were, uh, right. All right, let's wrap this up. Sweet. And there we go. I actually just got the achievement. I guess you don't need to uh, finish colonizing anything. You can just send guys over there. Because as you guys can see, I got like five colonies working. And my colonial nation of uh, long name Australia, they're also colonizing one. So we got six colonies still active. But I did just get the achievement, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. One of the most obscure achievements in U4. That's just because it's a new one, you know. It's not very famous. But where are the penguins? As a Malagasy country, unite Madagascar and hold all the most southern provinces in the world. There there it is, man. Obviously a great, great success. But listen, boys, we started off as Betsy Mr. Rock over here, a pretty weak nation, our second nation out of three nations that we're going to be playing in Madagascar. Why three out of five of them have unique national ideas? I'll never know, but I guess we have to play them since they do have unique ones. We start off by conquering all our Malagasy neighbors right here, vassalize those boys in the center, Imerina, I think they were called, and then we were chilling, getting ready to declare on Kilwa when they actually declared on us a oh, big, big mistake on their part. We built up our navy, we built up our army, and tacked up to their mill level, after which we invaded and took most of their country, and then we cleaned up all of the other guys over here in these areas right here in the Zambezi trade node, and then we also conquered all of the colonized provinces in Zanzibar and Zambezi. Start off by colonizing this down here, the Cape of Good Hope. Island hopped to Australia, island hopped to some more islands over here, and then started colonizing the tip of South America. And with that, we we have achieved our goal of getting this achievement. Where are the penguins? Honestly, a pretty fun game. Tough start. We did have to struggle a lot with monarch points due to our horrible, horrible rulers and horrible, horrible heirs. But honestly, a pretty stable campaign, man. We never struggled much with anything, really. I did full state almost everything over here. In fact, I did full state everything. I just need to finish full coring them. We're making a ton of money, as you guys can see. Colonial maintenance is 20, so uh, we're actually making about 30 ducats a month without colonies with armies up i'm almost at force limit pretty strong nowhere near bankruptcy no disasters at all a very very stable run and a very fun run as the nation of betsy Mesa Raka right here and i'm happy to say that i will declare this run in a to z as betsy Mesa Raka a success yay clap it up everyone clap it up and that has been betsy Mesa Raka in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.